Hello, Bill Park. Hello. Uh, thank you Paul. for <laughs> <laughs> thank you for bringing me to your studio. This place is amazing. And uh, yeah, would you give us a little tour? Well, behind you here is the print studio. Uh huh. And uh, I used to do a lot of monotypes. I haven't uh, for a while. But uh, I've got people that come in and they're members of the studio. Okay, these are monotypes. Um, here's Fred. Ah, Fred. Fred. So for years you did what, Fridays with him? Every Friday you guys would work together? Yes. I just, um, and this is a ghost plant. And it does look what, ghostly. Yeah, it does. And sometimes I'd, I'd print over these things, you know, add you know, darks going in other places and um, yeah. creates depth. Um, Jumping for joy. Yes. Series. <laughs> That's awesome. So it's like it's rare enough that someone else does a title that you you, you make it part of the title. Yes. <laughs> This is the pain. Bucket of sunshine. That's cool. That really reframes the painting for me, that title. <laughs> what do you do when you're stuck? You walk in here and you don't feel like it. Um, I do something outrageous. Mm. I usually fumble over it for a little bit, you know, like get pissed off and just, you know, like depressed or not 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 really depressed uh, just kind of wondering um, just get tired of being there and uh, then I'll I'll do something to change to change the course of the painting you know it just it, it'll it doesn't have to be good or bad or anything it just has to be different and I do that and it just changes it and then something goes on and then then the energy's there, and it's flowing, and uh, I don't know where it's going to go, but... Um, so do something. Yeah. Almost almost doesn't matter do, what. Do something that, that I have to respond to on the painting. That's a, 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 something that um, changes it, kind of destroys it in a way, uh, with the way it was, and... Uh, and that gives me a whole new start. You know, then the, the world's open. Yeah. So, like in the one that we were we were mentioning down down there on the floor, that you said, you know, you've done this in ten minutes, and everyone likes it, including yeah. me actually. <laughs> we were flipping it upside down and stuff before. That thing for you to continue it, you're going to need to do some kind of um, what destruction of that harmony, like a small, a, a, yes. a, a break. And then, yeah. it, and then it it will need a yes and to follow. Yeah. So new ideas happen on the canvas for you. Yeah. They are not like pre-sketched and yeah. so on. I mean, it's, I can't say that I don't think in, when I'm not working on paintings, but you know. I, <laughs> I, are you saying you have experiences <laughs> like a real person? <laughs> sure I do. Um, I don't have one way that I do everything, you know, that I do my stuff. Uh huh. Um, I've done that I've worked, and it's, it doesn't, it gets boring after a while. It gets contrived, you know, it's predictable. And I, I do my best to stay away from that. The contrived and predictable is, um, is tedious, you know, it's safe. As we were just saying, the reason, the main reason it sounds like you paint is, right, painting is a verb for you. Mm -hmm. It's about being here and what, surprising yourself, doing, yeah. doing fun. Yeah. And coming up with things that, that just blow me away. Uh -huh. just, and it, it doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't happen for a while sometimes. 
Yeah. And, uh, but I know that if I keep at it, it will. And that's, um, it just, there's no, there's no replacement for just painting. You know, just painting, painting, painting. And if it works, great, go on and paint. If it doesn't work, great, go on and paint. And that's, and, and I teach workshops um, and uh, it's, that's a hard thing to teach because people are, they're wanting to make every mark important. You know, they want to make it, you know, that'll lead to the finish of the painting. And finishing the painting is, is really the last thing I want to do. Mm until it's done you know then it, it tells me when it's done it's just i don't want to finish it up because you know i won't i won't, I won't treat it right i won't give it the respect that it needs so i gotta say something go ahead um last april my life changed in a heartbeat i had a stroke and my mental and, and mental capacities were just totally messed up. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, luck, you know, just, I just had incredible luck. Uh, my, my friends, family, just they they were with me a hundred percent and without them I couldn't have done it but I it's been it's been really important to me it's just the, the um, and the reason I brought this up because I just realized that I've been talking for you know this is one of the hardest things for me to do um, since the stroke and it's um, I'm I'm recovered probably I'm probably about eighty five percent of where I was, uh -huh. you know that I notice that's what I notice, uh, and that's from you know like I know what it feels like to when I have a thought you know and I I don't want to continue it and um, it's you know I run out of run out of things to say run out of things to do and uh, it's. Uh, it's frustrating sometimes, but now it's, you know, I'm, I, I've come through the, the painting part of it and, uh, yeah, I guess I, for a while I was just, I was feeling so good at painting and, uh, just feeling great to be able to paint and, and it just felt wonderful just to awesome it was just to be in the studio and painting and uh, it, at some point I, I, I thought that this is the best work I've ever done and I, then I started realizing that it wasn't mm. it I, I thought it was because it felt so good to be doing it that's, awesome. that's what got me into pulling things up from up above mm. there, there's still paintings up there that I haven't seen for like two years yeah you know since well before the pandemic uh-huh and uh so yeah and this is yeah this is what this is 2023 so it's been a long time yeah that those have sat up there treasures to be discovered when you yep. feel like it yeah, or blank canvases you know, a, a treasure in itself right for those yeah. of us who love to do this yeah. so you're you feel like you're still in the midst of recovery um is that accurate? Yeah. And I, I, I don't know, maybe I will the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. um, it's, um, <laughs> I, I still, I forget how old I am. You know, I think, I, I don't know whether I'm 77 or 78, uh -huh. but it's one of those two. <laughs> I know that for sure. Um, but I can't do the math that in my head that gets me to figure that out. 
and like math in my head was, you know, before the stroke, it was something I would do just all the time. It was easy. Um, and uh, it's something that I, that I don't do so much now. And uh, the, I just, the reason I brought this up, I wasn't going to. Uh -huh. um, but then the reason I did, I noticed myself that I'd been talking and the way I'd been talking for you know, the time that we've been here, it's been really good for me. Uh, I feel a really great and at ease and, uh, and that's a big step for me. So That's fantastic. Yeah, it is. So this is, uh, this is a growth moment. Outstanding. Or a few moments. I'm super happy to witness it. Yeah, well, thank you for oh. making it possible. Oh, most welcome. Um, let's take a break, huh? Okay.